Okay, so let's look at A-B testing within MailChimp. So once again, we're going to create a new campaign. And again, an email campaign. And here we are going to choose A-B test. So we'll use our Mother's Day bundles as, uh, as the campaign. So let's assume in this case, we're gonna send it to the entire list just to keep things simple. The other thing is that with A-B testing, you need a large enough number of subscribers to actually make the test results relevant. If you don't have enough subscribers, you're just not gonna have a large enough data set to actually make a meaningful decision. MailChimp suggests at least 5,000 subscribers. You can try it with less. So how A-B testing works is that MailChimp sends each of two or whatever number of variants you have to a portion of your list and then it sees which of those is most effective and then sends it to the rest of your list. So that's what this toggle here is for. It allows you to determine what percentage of your list you'd like to receive both variants on which to base the results of your test. So that number is probably gonna depend on how big your list is. Um, but in this case, let's test subject line because that's gonna have the biggest impact on who opens your email and who sees your promotion, whether or not they actually click through. There's some value in just staying top of mind and having people open your email. So let's test a subject line and we're gonna do two subject lines. And given that this list has 30,000 subscribers, you'll see there's a little line in between here. Basically what at this point we're saying is that of those 30,000, we're going to send both variants to, to half the list and from that, it's going to pick a winner and send it to the other half of the list. So each variant would be sent to 7,500 people. So we can even cut that down to, you know, a few thousand. Now, as we go below 5,000 recipients, MailChimp's giving us a, a warning here. We recommend at least 5,000 recipients per combination. Let's go with uh, 3,000 per combination. That means... 6,000 people are gonna be part of your test. 3,000 will receive each subject line, and based on that, MailChimp will send to the rest of the list. So you can either use by open rate or click-through rate. I typically use by open rate, and MailChimp's default is four hours, so it's gonna allow four hours for those 6,000 people to open up their emails, and then after that, it'll send the rest. So you can adjust that, but four hours is probably a good amount of time to allow the most amount of people to open up your email without dragging it out too much. Now, if you have less than 5,000 people on your list, you can experiment with this. It's a good skill to build up, but your results may not be as relevant. So next, we're going to pick subject lines. So for the Mother's Day bundles, we'll try two different approaches. If you make your subject lines too similar, you may not be that satisfied with the results. For the first one, let's just directly state the offer, so save up to 55% on amazing Mother's Day bundles. So in the second subject line, let's try and be a little more provocative, maybe a little more cryptic. We'll say looking for something special this Mother's Day question mark. So that way we're kind of piquing someone's interest. So we'll see which one is going to work best. And you could maybe even infer from this test um, for future what kinds of subject lines are going to work. So maybe a question, maybe something a little bit more interest provoking versus just stating the offer. We'll hit next. And again, let's go into our save templates. We've already created this email, so we can just choose that. And that's really it for subject lines. Assuming this email is ready to go, you can just hit confirm before sending and review all of your email elements here and just make sure that all looks good before hitting send. If you wanted to test something else, let's test content here. It's gonna be a similar approach in general but now we are going to look at two 
variations on the content of the email. So this is the original email that we've already designed, and we're going to create a second variation on the content. Let's say we wanted to just play with the headline here. So maybe this time we'll just try a different headline here in terms of the content. You may want to experiment with other things like an, maybe an animated GIF versus a static GIF uh, or just play with the photo. But I would suggest you focus on strictly one element in terms of the content. Otherwise, you may not know exactly what made the difference. So I'll hit next and we'll call this um, headline to so there are our two variations, and again, we can hit next. And I've used the same settings in terms of the segments. So two total combinations, A-B test will be sent to 20% of recipients, and two random settings, combination of variables with the highest open rate will be sent to the remaining 80% after four hours. So that's how A-B testing works in MailChimp. And you can play around with that. Even if you have a smaller list, you can try it out. But again, you're going to see the best results if you have more than 5,000 subscribers.